Welcome, everybody. This is For the Love of Money, where we are making you unapologetic about your pursuit of success by sharing the tools, tips, and stories of those who have already made it. My name is Chris Harder, and each week I will bring you incredible guests in order to prove that when good people make good money, they do great things. Welcome back to another mini episode of For the Love of Money, episodes that I like to call My Two Cents. And today, we are talking about the concept of just having faith, having faith in abundance, having faith that if you believe it'll happen, it'll happen, having faith in the fact that you don't have to know the how or the where, you just have to know. And I know this is the hardest thing to do. This is why most people don't feel abundant. And this is why most people don't attract abundance is because it is so hard to just have faith. And I'm talking the kind of faith where you feel it, where you know it, where even though you're scared, you act on it anyways. So I've got a great story to share with you. It's a story about my trainer, Abe. Now, Abe works really, really hard as one of the top trainers at our gym, really successful guy, but he hadn't taken a vacation in five years and he was due. I mean, he was overdue for a vacation. Now, because he's a trainer, lavish vacations obviously aren't something that you just make a flip decision about. However, his gut was telling him that if he didn't take this vacation, then something had to give. So he knew in his gut that he had to just drop what he's doing and take a time out. Now, here's where the scary part came in. He was not flush with finances. He wanted to go to Bali because Bali had been calling him. He wanted to surf there. He wanted to meet the people there. He wanted to totally be in Zen and just chill out a little bit. So he had Bali picked out and he wanted to go for a long enough time for him to truly recharge. I mean, picture if you hadn't gone on vacation in five years, hadn't taken a break in five years, working almost seven days a week for five years, just how badly you need not a a long weekend, not a one week vacation, but damn near a month long vacation in order to truly repair and recharge. And that's what Abe needed. But the problem is Abe was fearful at first around committing the money to go on this vacation. Not only does a month in Bali cost you quite a bit of money, but a month in Bali means a month of not making money as a trainer. Think about it. The way trainers make their money is they're trading time for money. And so if he isn't trading his time all month, that means he isn't receiving any money back. So it's almost like a double whammy, right? I'm going to spend X number of dollars on vacation, but at the same time, I'm not going to be bringing any money in. So it's twice the hit to the pocketbook. But then he said something amazing. He said, I needed this vacation so bad that I just had faith that the finances would work out. I just had faith that they would show up. And right when he made that decision and booked the plane ticket for almost a month in Bali, guess what happened? All of the finances showed up out of the blue because he had faith. Are you ready for this? So he's sitting there at nighttime, a little bit of fear, but says, you know what? I got faith that the finances are going to show up and he books his plane ticket and he walks into the gym the next day. And I say, Hey, Abe, I want to work with you and I need to be trained three to four times a week. That's much higher than the typical person that pays for training there. Now, the reason why I needed a new trainer is because my previous trainer, Chris, had left this gym to pursue other cool things that he's doing. So I needed a new trainer, but Abe didn't know this. Abe and I knew each other, but we had never really talked about training each other in the past because I had a trainer. So here I am in need of a trainer. Abe is a great trainer that I had watched for the past couple of years while I was working with somebody else. He books his plane ticket at night. I show up the next day and I say, Abe, by the way, I need a new trainer three to four days a week. 
and I want you to be the guy. Look what he just got. He just got three to four sessions added to what he was already making out of the blue because he had faith. But then it gets better than that. He also found out a couple days later that he qualified for a bonus that month that he was not expecting to get. So I show up with an extra three to four sessions a week and he gets a bonus that he was not expecting to get. And then it gets better than that. Because he booked the vacation about a month out, that means that he had about one more month to work leading up to it. And he had the busiest month, the most clients, and made the most money that he had ever made in the history of his long career in training. All of that because he had faith and booked the damn tickets anyways. He booked the tickets when he wasn't sure where the money would come from. He booked the tickets when he wasn't sure how he was going to backfill that whole month worth of lost income. But he said, I've got faith. I know it's going to show up somewhere. He is the type of guy that buys into this concept of abundance and faith. He had the faith and it showed up. It showed up in the way of me saying, I need three to four trainings a week with you. Surprise. It showed up in a bonus for the month he was not expecting to get. And it showed up in the form of his busiest month ever leading up to that vacation. So you know what he did? He went on vacation. He went to Bali for a month. He got recharged. He was repaired. And he came back better than ever and more abundant than ever. And with a great new reminder of the payoffs you get if you just have faith. Now, one of the reasons why we don't have faith is because it does not feel intuitive to us, right? Our brain gets in a way and says, wait a minute, if you make this decision, you're going to miss this, this, and this. Or if you make this decision, it's going to cost you this, this, and this. And then the fear sets in and it doesn't feel logical to us and we can't see where the money's going to come from. And so we make the wrong decision. We lose faith and we make the wrong decision. Just because it doesn't feel intuitive doesn't mean it doesn't work. That's the trick. That's why most people are not swimming in abundance. That's why most people aren't having these financial windfalls fall, fall down upon them. Is because they don't yet have the faith. They're letting those fearful thoughts get in the way. So you know, way, you know the way abundance really works? First, you have the blind faith. And I mean blind You know it, you believe it, you feel it, even though you don't know where it's coming from. First, you have the blind faith, then you get the abundance. It's not the other way around like it should be, like it feels like. It's not where you start to get more and more and more and more abundance, and all of a sudden, you build up your faith in abundance because of the evidence that you're getting more and more and more. I wish it worked that way. It seems logical it should work that way, but it doesn't. First, you have the blind faith. You got to feel it and know it. Then the abundance shows up. Then the surprise windfall shows up. Then the big break that you are calling in shows up. And when it starts showing up, when people like you start making good money, they do great things. Thanks for listening. And if you loved this episode and know of someone else who is as successful as they are generous, please pass them on to me. It would mean the world to me if you help me get this cause and this message out to as many listeners as I can. So please, if you liked what you heard, it goes a long way if you take 30 seconds and leave me a five-star review and share this with your friends. I'll be forever grateful. And until the next episode, cheers to your success.